Hello, my dear friends, this is a painty cat. My name is Catherine. Welcome on my demonstration tutorial. Full version of this tutorial with comments about color mixing, about steps we need to do, you can find on a Patreon. And now I just wanna tell you about what we're gonna do in general. First, today I wanna demonstrate to you combination of two kinds of paints. This is a watercolor, which is very transparent. We all know about this kind of paints. And another one, it's a gouache. You can see it in a containers on the top of the video. Now I'm using blue and a green. Gouache really close to acrylic and oil in general, because this is a nice coverage paint. You can layer paint with layers and layers and fix everything you need without any noticeable details. If you're painting with watercolor, it's really tricky, can be really tricky to fix something, because watercolor, well known, uh, about its um, transparency. Uh, but what I also like about gouache, it's really universal paints. You also can paint with it as with watercolor. So what I'm doing now, on my palette, flower type palette, you can see I mixed now, I did mix of watercolor and gouache, blue and a green. I put there also really nice amount of water, so my gouache now very liquid, very transparent, and on a paper it's looking absolutely the same as a watercolor. What a universal type of paints, isn't it? If we have gouache at home, we same time can paint similar to oil because of high coverage. Right? We can put not that much of water in gouache, so it will keep coverage. But if we need to, we even can paint with gouache in wet and wet technique. That's what I'm doing now. Gouache, it's a water-based pigment. It's nicely mixing with watercolor as well. So you can combine these paints two types in one painting. Okay, now my background done. Sketch for this tutorial you can also find on my Patreon. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to make a sketch drawing for flying birds. And here with gouache we can use same techniques. Now you can see it's a dry napkin. I'm forming, I'm creating clouds now here. And also it's possible to lift up pigment of gouache absolutely same way that we making with watercolor. You can notice now this dark spot in the center, almost in the center. I put there some color. Let me demonstrate to you how possible to lift up pigment. I put some water and after just remove water with extra pigment I don't like and it's possible to use in any area you need to. Okay, also for demonstration of gouache and uh, watercolor difference, I did some sample. And now my background drying, I used a uh, hairdryer. I'll do explanation about difference a little bit slower. Um, you can see the watercolor really transparent. So when it's mixing with the background, which is blue and green, watercolor losing 
brightness of color saturation if we using gouache gouache have better coverage especially i like to use white one on top of any color and after it's drying it's possible for us color on top a little bit and look what a color even what a color looking bright and nice again on top of white gouache so if we need to create any light details on top of the dark background that's not possible to do with just watercolor but it's very possible if we have gouache now i'm painting some flowers because i want to create flying birds in a flower hurricane in a flower wave and uh, i'm using mostly yellow gouache yes this is also a little bit transparent but but much less than watercolor and you can mix these types both of them these types of uh, paints together in one painting especially i like white zinc or titanium um, you can create white details on top of the dark backgrounds where you need to and after you can coloring no matter with what it can be watercolor again it can be gouache again but you can color and your colors on top will look really saturated very very clear and bright and juicy everything what we like in watercolor paintings so let's see how it's going i'm mixing for flowers all colors i like this is orange this is yellow red it's a model egg red if you have your own preferences you can use your own color colors uh, flowers can be blue it can be pink anything you have in mind you can mix it here um, for better looking i recommend to create different sizes of flowers some of them nice uh, looking as a big it can be roses lilies some details have to be tiny imagine it's a petals some flying flowers really uh, have a shape so you can create even details there middle uh, some color in the center of flower can look good but also please add a lot of dots colorful dots can be yellow again white green blue um my choice uh it's a warm tone colors it's a uh, yellow plus orange plus red plus madelaic red that's it let me work on some details as I told you, on a big flowers, you can really create some interesting edge, some light and dark. And also, I want to create, you know, some flowers that possibly stuck in the clouds near to my flower, flying birds. And like this. Not much, right? Don't put too many. And also, it's a green stems and uh, small leaves. Very light color of green. You can see I'm mixing gouache and watercolor in one palette because these colors really looking well together. Uh, you can't mix oil 
and water color because it's a different base. Oil, it's oil in base, of course, and water color, it's water in base. Also, we can combine acrylic and water color as well, and also we have acrylic gouache. It's gouache on acrylic base. That's mean what we have when we working with acrylics. It can't be watery again after it's completely dry. This is acrylic. But gouache, classical type of gouache, it's a water-based and it's possible to wet again after it's dried completely. So it's a really as a watercolor but have nice coverage. I know gouache not well known, I'd say, but this type of paints have so many um, ways uh, to use. You know, I just in love with this material and I really hope you guys will like it too. It's possible to find at local stores um, and I can tell you it's not that expensive as oil. All techniques, all oil techniques possible to um, learn on gouache but it's much much ch cheaper after you know how to work with a high coverage you can move on on a canvas and oil so very very nice type of paints for everyone who beginning to learn how to paint okay let me demonstrate you more about um this painting how it's going now time for birds and um, personally I don't like black on the first year of my education on art school we had a tricky experience our teacher removed black neutral black from our watercolor palettes and she told us we have to paint without black because in um, nature around us there no black. Imagine I was just a teenager and it's totally broke my view about background around me, about items I'm going to paint, how the I'm gonna to paint shadows without black. And yes, we've been painting without black for one year, first one. And uh, now I totally can understand this position. Yes, try not to use black if you have any other colors. We have sepia, very nice dark color. It's a warm toned color. I really really like it. It's looking not that flat as just a simple black. So for these birds I really recommend to you take sepia. If you have no this shade on your palette, if you haven't 24 colors as I have on my box, if you have just 12 basic kit, then mix black with uh, mm, umber, uh, burnt umber, and also you can mix with any others, um, for example, violet, or try black and mother lake red. Look what mix you have. It also will be dark as a black, but undertone in it, in it mix will be colorful and will look more interesting because we're working with a half transparent pigment on our paper. And also this is a gooses, right? This is a gooses. I had experience um, flying in a fly station and uh, I wanted to explain my feelings on a paper that's why I'm painting these birds 
But um, first I was thinking about flying swans, but me and my friends, we've been three persons there, we definitely wasn't looking as a beautiful swans, no. Um, I'd say um, flying gooses closer to our <laughs> types, so it's a gooses, uh, it's a Norse uh, bird, Norse goose and uh, this bird also have white and uh, gray feathers body very light but all light objects reflecting colors that put around here around we have bluish and some green and some red so don't be shy to use all these shades but in light as small accents on all light feathers on these birds. Again, full instruction with all step explanations you can find on my Patreon. If you have any questions, don't be shy to ask me here on the comments and I will answer all questions you have. If you have to remove tape, please use hot air from hairdryer. I'll be very happy to see your own paintings, my dear friends. You can demonstrate it to me on my community wall on a Patreon. It was a painting cat and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.